this is actually a full Windows PC. Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and today I have the GPD Win in front of me which should be a solution for guys or girls who want to play Windows games on the go. Packing feels good, soft material and this is the GPD Win over here. It looks a lot like a Nintendo DS as you can see. And yeah, we're going to check that one out soon. We get a screen protector as well, which is very nice. And then the layout of the box is very cool. We have the cables over here, charging cable and earphones, which is cool. They included earphones as well. And then we have the power brick as well, of course, which is UK and I'm European, so yeah. And then instruction manual on how to make your GPD win run faster but we are just going to use this GPD win out of the box like it is so let's see how it performs so on the outside I can see a little fan over here some speakers on the back and then this is the fan mode I think so you have a very slight so no fan you have medium fan and you have a big fan so um, you choose a different setting in the way you play games or if you're just browsing for example We have USB 3.0 input, which is very cool a audio an audio jack input SD card slot and then this is for uh, charging yes and a, a mini USB input as well and then we have the gaming buttons on the top. It looks and feels very premium. We have the D-pad, the mouse option and the gaming buttons as well. This is a QWERTY keyboard and yeah, you have all the Windows buttons you need. So this is a gaming button, I presume. Volume rockers and then a power button over here. So we'll just turn on the device. It's also touchscreen, which is cool. And yeah, we're booting up. Hi there. So it has Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. I'm going if you to need an assistive this. screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Your region is set to United States. Is that right? Yes. It works! Cool! So the Cortana option actually works very well and now I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. My first opinion on this is that the screen looks very nice at the start. So I'm actually impressed. I thought this would be like some Chinese um, crappy Windows PC but it works fast and it looks nice and now he's just doing the update and the English is okay but yeah it's a full Windows version so what did you expect? Uh, the only way to play Diablo 3 is um, on a television screen or after uh, behind a computer screen and yeah if you're in an airplane that's a little difficult you have to take your big laptop with you but this is just like a Nintendo DS that you take with you and this is a lot cooler to game on so I hope it works and we'll check that out in another video because this is just an intro video on the GPD on how it works what it does and then I'm going to do a video after a week after I played with it after I installed some things and game with it uh, to let you guys know what are the pros and the cons of this device but for now let's continue with this first look of the GPD win I have to say I have to say the keyboard is very responsive and it works very fast as well and this is actually a full Windows PC which blows my mind because it's so small and yeah, it's, it's actually a Windows PC. It's now updating and it might take several minutes, of course, but it's cool. This thing is still updating, so I'm, I just checked out the uh, earphones and I have to say they are very nice. It's um, very good quality. As you can see, the headphone jack is real metal and they feel very well in your ears and they um, block a lot of noise as well. It's cool material, it's like some kind of plastic or something and in the meantime we are in the PC! Ooh, that's small! Wow! Wow, that is so cool! 
Ooh, wow, that's weird. So the mouse is actually this joystick over here and then to click you have to press this button and for left click and right click is this button. So, wow, Ooh, this is actually very cool. You even have Steam setup installed on this. Let's go to this PC owner, that's right button. So we have 57 gigs free on this thing and I didn't install anything yet, so I will think I'll need an SD card. I have no idea if you can see it that well on the camera above because I can't notice if you can see it on the camera above so yeah it would be stupid if you wouldn't see anything. It still amazes me how fast this thing goes. It's so small so I'm just on the browser right now. Oh I have a keyboard. I forgot I had a keyboard so um, let's go to YouTube for example. It's a little weird, I have to get used to it's typing and using the mouse, but yeah, let's uh... Wow, this is so cool. This is, this is, I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is cool, this is a computer and it works like it, 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 it's a fast experience as well. This video loaded Hi, very Sam, fast. Very loud. As you can see, it plays YouTube like it's nothing. It, it just blows my mind. No, but. It has, the video quality is 1080p, 720p or somewhere between that. It's a little upscaled, it has some grain in it, I, I, I think, but it's, it's a small screen so you don't notice it that hard. Um, the speakers are loud, but when they're, they're on the loudest volume they're not that good. So I turn them down a little and they're good enough if you turn them down a little. So you have different options. Uh, you can use the uh, gamepad, you can use the mouse and you can use the um, joysticks as well, which is very cool, but I'm going to stick with the mouse. And how do you, you just press escape. I, I'm still, I, I still find it weird because this is an actual computer and I want to use it like a tablet for example, but this is an actual computer, this is so weird. Uh, look at this, this, this is just windows in my in, in in a in a very small thing so i'm going to try to see if this game can run diablo 3 reaper of souls because that's actually the game i really really want to play on this so let's see it says it doesn't run diablo 3 it doesn't have the minimum and the recommended specs for it but i think there will be some booted uh, Diablo 3 games for this, we'll have to check that out. But as you can see, the video card is uh, 3.0, that's good, 5.0. The RAM is, uh, there. there is 256 megabytes required. This thing only has 128, which is a little less. The uh, CPU will be difficult. This is an Intel Atom X7 CPU and the minimum is a AMD Athlon 64X2. CPU speed is 1.6 GHz. RAM is good enough. This is 4 GB of RAM. You only need 2 for Diablo 3 for example. I've opened uh, some kind of a Photoshop app. It's more like a sketch app. It's called Sketchbook. And yeah, it, it, it works very well as you can see, so no problem with uh, installed apps. I'll just have to check out if multitasking, uh, playing harder games on it works fast. But my first impression is actually pretty good. I have to get used to uh, the uh, yeah keyboard-mouse combination and I have to install the d-pad driver as well I think that's in the manual that's why it wasn't really working but this was a quick first look on the GPD win 
I'll use this device uh, for the next week and try to list some negative and positive things about this thing and I'll make a new video about this um, with all the things I did with this. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you already have any questions let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.